Ooh, it's really quiet in here when my computer's off. I don't like it. Hello, good morning, or afternoon, depending on when you're watching this. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, it's a great day to vlog about something that happened a week ago. <laughs> so a week ago, I went to Meow Wolf, Denver which is otherwise known as Convergence Station. I've always wanted to go to Meow Wolf and check out what this thing that everybody has been talking about. I have seen some of the trailers for uh, Omega Mart and for the House of Eternal Return when that first came out. And I've seen walkthroughs online of it, but I don't think it, I always had the sneaking suspicion that it wouldn't compare at all to actually going and seeing it in person, so. Um, I wanted to always make a point to at least go to one of them. We weren't really close to any of the exhibits before we moved, so I didn't really want to <laughs> try and make a road trip to them at all. I guess we were close to the one in Vegas, but I, I, I don't really have any desire to go to Las Vegas yet. Once we moved to Colorado, I was like, oh my god, we can actually go. And it was amazing. It was one of the coolest experiences I have ever had and it took me a while, like I had to go back and I didn't take very much video while I was there because I wanted to enjoy it, you know, experience it. I didn't want to experience it through like a phone screen. So I only took some video when I knew that I had already experienced the thing that I was video taping. But yeah, it was, it was amazing. There was so much, as soon as you walk into the door, you're, you're immersed in this world, which is so cool like the only other place that I've seen that like okay one haunted houses because I've worked in haunted houses and I know the, like the immersion that goes into even just standing in line for the haunted houses so like that's one aspect of it but like completely different the other thing that I could compare it to in terms of them just like bringing you into this world and welcoming you in is probably like Disneyland, which is a horrible comparison to this. This isn't an amusement park, but it's the, it's the only thing that comes close in terms of the amount of immersion that you have in this attraction. They kind of test out to see like who, who is new to this exhibit and who is a returning transient. Like we had never been before, so we, we took the person, we took the agent's advice, I guess and went went to the world, went to Convergence, the worlds that you go to and there's, it was so, there's so many different worlds in this. I'm having trouble like even figuring out how to describe because each, okay, so it, it's important to kind of point out what Meow Wolf is. Meow Wolf is a um, art collective, I guess you could call them, that have, big giant art installations in three different places in the United States. I think they're going to have a fourth one in DC, but I'm not sure. And then they have some pop-up exhibits as well, but um, their three main ones that are like permanent installments um, is their first one, which is the House of Eternal Return in Santa Fe. I always forget Santa Fe is a place. They have a Mega Mart, which is a brand new exhibit, and that is in Las Vegas. And then they have a Convergence Station, which is in Denver, Colorado, and it is a brand new exhibit as well. Best I can describe it is an intergalactic train station built completely from the minds and geniuses of the artists that work there. From their posts on social media, I got that Meow Wolf was an art gallery, kind of, but it was an immersive art gallery and that they try to include local artists, but also artists from minority groups. They influence um, cultural artists and um, LGBTQIA artists and just really giving a voice to artists that wouldn't necessarily get a voice in a traditional art gallery, which that was cool from what I had heard of it, but actually going there and the amount of lore that is there in the actual like exhibit, the actual world that they build into. I didn't expect it to be as big as it was. The building was five stories in total. Four of them you could access, one of them was their like admin floor. I don't want to give away too much of what is in there for those who still want to go, but I am gonna post the video. So if you don't want spoilers for this exhibit, probably don't watch this side of the screen. This is the video um, that I took from the few, few, few exhibits. This is like point zero zero one percent of the amount of art that is actually in this place. It was so immersive. Parts that you had to crawl through. It was completely made of street signs. Musical instruments on the wall that were actually functional and playing. There was so much metal surrounding you at all given point and time. It changed kind of the way the room felt. 
itself especially given the fact that right outside of this room was a completely nature-based world called Numina. There's very few um, recognizable plants on this planet, but um, it was amazing. I mean, tall trees and um, kaleidoscopes in the walls and big mountainsides with weird creatures looking at you from the top of them and so much cohesiveness with the entire project that it was, it was spooky. <laughs> it was it was really cool. I do need to point out that there are two ways for you to kind of experience um, Convergent Station. You can go in just kind of freewheeling it by the seat of your pants and just see things as you want. The other way is similar, but um, you can purchase a cue card, which basically gives you more um, options into the lore of the actual world. There was a group there that was on a scavenger hunt, and I don't know if <laughs> the scavenger hunt was part of the cue card or if it was part of their field trip, but um, I really hope it's part of the cue card because that is an experience that I want to go back and do. So cool. Oh, and the stain, there was a there was a castle. There was a fucking castle in the middle of this. It was like a, it was an ice tower stained glass thing that you could pull and it had deities on the inside of it and there was a monkey. There were people there that I didn't know if they were patrons or if they were actors or a mix of the two. I honestly am not exactly sure what was going on a good 65 to 70 percent of the time. Things that you should definitely check out if you go, like the castle is amazing. Uh, or the church? It might be a church. It's a, it's a castle church. It's a big... you'll know it when you see it. I think it was called Wheelchair Sports Camp was one of my favorite exhibits. It's kind of like a kitchen-esque type setup. It's really cool. Uh, the name of the artist, which I don't have in front of me, and I should, uh, is right here. In general, you should just check out Numina as a whole, as a world, uh, but my advice is to check out every single nook and cranny. If it looks like there's something there, most likely there is going to be something there and you should check it out. Outside of the worlds that you can go to, to the interdimensional intergalactic worlds, they do have, I guess you could call it a concert venue. I know that they, when they opened, they had a concert, I think it was Grizz that played there, but I could be wrong. Uh, it's called the Perplexiplex. It's amazing. They have um, interactive exhibits in there that you can look at. Um, the one that was there when we went uh, tracked your floor movement. So it would, it would create ripples as you walked. And if you stood in one place long enough, mushrooms would sprout along the wall. That was my partner's favorite part. Hello Food is their little food court thing that they have. Um, and they prioritize local food, um, local restaurants, local businesses, which was really cool. And they had vegan and gluten-free options, which is great because I think gluten is a problem. Then we went to the Perplexiplex and then we ended up spending another two and a half hours there, two hours there, just going back through and making sure we didn't miss anything. And I'm still sure we missed things. Like, we were there for a grand total of three and a half hours and I'm not convinced that that is enough time to see everything that there is to see, especially with the cue cards. They have an information desk. Um, they have a gift shop too. Uh, I got a magnet. <laughs> And then the reason that I took so long to actually do a vlog on this is because I really wanted to sit with some of the thoughts that I had, kind of figure out what I thought about the exhibit itself, because it was something that I had wanted to, it was kind of like on a, a pilgrimage bucket list kind of thing of mine. I didn't think I would actually be able to go and do, but we did and went. I am extremely inspired after being able to go. I am also extremely intimidated. It's one of those things where it just hit me that like, oh hell, there's there's other artists out here doing the same kind of art that I have dreamed of doing and that I'm starting to do. So as an artist, it was very intimidating, but at the same time, it was like, oh my God, there's community. They all have a similar vision that is cohesive enough to come together and make something as wonderful as this. And it was really inspiring. This is what happens when artists figure things out. And that's not to say that Meow Wolf has, is perfect as a company. I know that a little while ago, they were in trouble with um, some of the way that they handled uh, time off with their unions. I recommend looking into that. I know there was a, you can look at Neil Wolf's union group on Instagram and they have the full story there, uh, better than I could describe it. Um, so like as a company, they're definitely not perfect. As an art collective, they definitely have a vision, however, and they 
they definitely have a clear idea of the impact that they could have, both on the art community and just in people in general. People who come and spe spectators only, people who are just there as an audience member wanting to experience this. I'm really glad I got to experience that. It's definitely an item on my bucket list now to apply. Yeah. Thanks for the inspiration, Meow Wolf. That was amazing. Next on our bucket list is to take a road trip down to Santa Fe and see House of Eternal Return. And then maybe Vegas. Maybe Vegas. I don't... Maybe Vegas. Maybe.